Well, we spend our free time a lot of the time looking out at the window at our beautiful planet. But uh, sometimes we spend time eating, having meals together. Uh, I spent time yesterday playing guitar. And uh, there's lots of things we can do up here over... We do have some access to news programs. We can get for television programs as well, pre-recorded, and then the ground, Houston or Moscow, so you can send them to us. Um, internet, we have some access to that as well. Over. Alexander, the thing that's most interesting in space for me is to see how humans adapt to being in space. Uh, a, it's a very different environment than it is to be on planet Earth, and it's a lot of fun to fly, to float, uh, to see how our bodies adapt. Over. Julia, the way we do that is with wet towels, soapy towels, and we clean ourselves. We do not have a shower. We do not have a conventional shower, but with just clean uh, towels, we're able to clean up and then dry off afterwards. Over. Alexander, we eat meals in space very similar to the way you do on planet Earth, we, except we have, uh, we have spoons we'll use a lot of the time. Some of our food is in packages where we can just, with the spoon, uh, take the food out of it. We heat our food in a, in a traditional kind of oven, and we also sometimes take food that doesn't have water in it and put hot water in it, and then the food becomes like you would have down on Earth. It's very tasty, and so we get to eat almost as much and almost as well as we do on planet Earth. Over. Mona, I would describe the feeling of flying in space as wonderful. It is, every day, we are like Superman. We're like superheroes. We can fly from our, from the places where we sleep in our sleeping bags. We can fly to work. We can fly to the experiments. We can fly to the window to look outside. It is, uh, it is one of the neatest things, most exciting things about being in space. Over. In college, I graduated from the Coast Guard Academy in Connecticut. So at that school, I learned about engineering and science. I know that you are studying science in your school. And then I became an engineer and later a pilot and later an astronaut. Over. Dominique, it's better than it used to be. I can talk to my family every day, and I can see them at least once a week on a TV screen, but I can call them on telephones just like you would on planet Earth using voice over internet protocol. Over. Katharina, the, an ordinary day on ISS is usually very busy, filled with science experiments, filled with work that we do to keep the space station systems operating, but all of it is a tremendous amount of fun. The science experiments we do range from life sciences to physical sciences to, uh, to some uh, technology demonstration. One of the things we're trying to do right now is close the life support loop so that we can take all of the things that humans generate and feed them back and recycle them. That's an important step for us to allow us to go to, moon, to, to the moon to stay and on to Mars. Over.
Mike Delta, this is OR4ISS. How do you copy over? I'm sorry, repeat the question. It was a little bit difficult to understand. Say again. I don't think it influences our perceiving of hunger or thirst, but it does change our sense of taste a little bit. I think that in space we like things that are more spicy, that have more strong and stronger flavors. Over. Clear. 